you so much for coming. Uh, you know, uh, to participate in uh, the Malaysian Orthodontic Practitioners Association meeting. This is the fourth uh, meeting that we we had. Uh, it's a fruition of uh, you know our our uh, ambition, our dreams, uh, and, uh, from uh, near and far. It's uh, something that uh, has uh, come uh, about because all of us had the same uh, the same predicament, maybe the same situation where we had a dream. We wanted to do more uh, to uh, for our our future. Yeah. So um, and just a brief moment. I just want to review on what is the new uh, chain. What is more part? Okay. So the Malaysian Orthodontic Practitioners Association is actually uh, uh, something that uh, was uh, put up way back in 2015. Uh, why did we do it? Because uh, we had uh, a big demand, a big demand in Malaysia, where the, uh, there's a big popula young population in Malaysia. Uh, our population is around 35 million, not as much as Pakistan, uh, maybe around the size of Afghanistan. Yeah? So, um, so MOPA started uh, as an association for practitioners of orthodontics because we find that there's not enough, uh, there was so, such a big demand in orthodontics but not enough skills to deliver. Uh, as you know, worldwide, uh, orthodontics is not taught by uh, to, uh, to undergraduates. Yeah? Uh, so you, uh, you and I did not get uh, uh, education through um, to our undergraduates, uh, okay? Because there's too much to, to, to learn in four or five years in uh, undergraduate. So this is the uh, really a postgraduate uh, subject. And uh, as you know, uh, the demand is high, and that is why in Pakistan, in Malaysia, in Thailand, in Indonesia, the highest rate of illegal dentistry is all about orthodontics. You know, people were they are doing orthodontics, uh, so. When society demand that the dentists do orthodontics, the skill is not there. That is why I uh, and Dr. Kati, you know, we are both specialists. We find that the best way to 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 to, uh, to give uh, to the demand of the society is to actually train our uh, general practitioner better. And when they are trained, they are trained properly. They are not trained by salesmen. They are trained by uh, their colleagues. They become better. Of course, we are, at the end of the day, we can't call ourselves orthodontists because the orthodontists, we must respect them because they are the specialists. But at least we can actually help society, help them in doing all the, the uh, more uh, common uh, cases. And also, uh, some of you may aspire to become orthodontists. And this is something that you can do uh, throughout your career. That means that uh, you have your commitment as general practitioner. Later on, you can become orthodontist with further training. And uh, I believe, hope I believe that uh, uh, education is freedom, and we will never stop learning until the day we die. Okay, so it's very important. I'm happy to report that uh, uh, we've got a, a truly international um, uh, participation uh, this year. We are having uh, Maria from Afghanistan, from Kabul. Good work, uh, a country that is uh, plagued with a lot of problems, but she came here for the sake of education, for the sake of uh, uh, of camaraderie, and I really salute her and all the trouble you had in immigration as well. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Right. Okay. Good. Good. Give her a hand. Okay. So we, uh, the Malaysian International Orthodontic Conference and Exhibition started in 2017. Uh, we went. Uh, it's a yearly uh, uh, event. 2017, 2018, 2019. In fact, the culmination of 2019 was so successful that uh, uh, education, uh, not education, sorry, the Ministry of Health, uh, Minister of Health came to uh, to uh, give recognition to the Malaysian Orthodontic Practitioners Association and to reinstate that uh, when we had the Malaysian Dental um, uh, Act of 2018 uh, being formed. It was to ensure the freedom of practice for all practitioners to practice within the realm of uh, of their discipline. That means they can do implant, they can do orthodontics, they can do all those things. And the freedom of practice is where is essential to us because as practitioners we should be able to do what is best for our patients. 
at the same time we have taken our oath uh, that we must uh, take care of our patient by increasing the knowledge that we have and I believe this uh, what we do at um, the, the Malaysian International Orthodontic Conference and Exhibition is to increase the knowledge this is part and parcel of being uh, responsible to our patient and the way to do it is to have uh, education yeah? so also let me tell you about our fellowship uh, what what is it all about? The fellowship is a recognition of the training that you've done. Uh, not everybody can apply to, 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 to get a, a fellowship. So what uh, they need to do, they need to have a, a certain requirement, education, and they are recommended by, by uh, their teachers or their, their colleague so that they can come and present. So this, you are in the elite group, okay? Uh, to get a fellowship, you must go through our vetting system only then you can present and when you present uh, hopefully today everybody will get it but one thing you uh, the best uh, person will have the first prize and we, uh, this year we're, we're, we're giving the Haji Hanafya uh, prize which is uh, all the stream things a thousand ringgit <laughs> okay <laughs> so you will get it uh, during the, the opening ceremony yeah uh, so hopefully uh, it's worth your while and also for the camaraderie. It's not the money so much, uh, I'm sure you guys can do a thousand ringgit within an hour in the practice. Yeah? <laughs> okay? Uh, so, uh, I wish you all well, and uh, uh, you've got, uh, as I said, an array of uh, uh, practitioners here, some from the government, some from private, uh, from Pakistan, from Malaysia, and from Afghanistan. I'm so, so, so uh, happy and pleased to have uh, all of you on board. Thank you so much for coming to uh, our Dental Growth Center and I hope uh, to see you soon and I, uh, I would like to give back uh, uh, this microphone, you know it's very hard for me once I start <laughs> talking, I can't stop Aspiring yeah. pollution Yes, <laughs> so uh, let's go on uh, with our uh, participation because it's already 9.35 Thank you uh, very much Thank you